for whenever you stumble in. Welcome to Hard Knocks Love Tarot. As usual, I've been pulled to the camera to give you a read. It is a beautiful morning in Southern California. It's 7.33 a.m. at the moment. About to send out another general message. Remember, this is a general reading. Not everything's going to resonate. All right. You all should know that. Please remember to like the video if you are a subscriber and you're watching my content. Even for one second, it doesn't take anything but one second to like the video and to help me out. So if you're a subscriber and you're watching my videos, you know, sometimes, you know, I'll get a lot of viewers and, well, a lot of times. Nobody's liking that shit, which means you're hating on my shit. I'm not sure. I have a lot of subscribers that aren't watching it, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, but... I'm not going to take that quite yet because we're not ready. I'm still bitching at you. <laughs> um, no, it doesn't take much to, to like the video, okay? So, I know there's some creepy people that try to come on my shit that are actually hating on me, but that actually adore me secretly. <laughs> um, that try to fuck with the numbers. Do you want attention? Do you want attention, baby? Aw, I need attention. Yes, I notice you, okay? I notice you. Hope this makes you feel better. Let's get on to why I was pulled today. Let's see what the message is from our spirit guides. That's angels, galactic council, ancestors, past loved ones, source, the almighty, the most high creator of all life and death. What is the messages for the collective today, please? Give me a clear picture. Thank you for the words and the cards to express the message that I'm about to receive. Thank you. Spirit guides. Seven of Cups. So, in this particular deck, we're talking about rationality, okay? We're talking about looking at all of your options and seeing them for what they are. Truly talking about coming to a clear conclusion from a headspace of clarity. Seven of Cups. This card also speaks of having a lot of options, not knowing what to do, being kind of overwhelmed by those options and so not being able to see with clarity exactly what you're looking at. So it could be illusions as well. Okay, confusion. Okay, so that's the first energy for today. What's going on with my collective? Let's get more on this, please. Ace of Metal and the Kidneys, which is the tower. So at this time, you might be having um, some issues with your kidneys as well. So what's going on? Um, collective, you're trying to harvest what you've been working on, right? So some things are coming to you, but they're coming to you with a surprise hanging on the tail end. Hmm. We are going to clarify these. Let's get one more and then clarify, please, Spirit. Whew. And my hand just kind of, I don't know if you saw that. It was just kind of, I wasn't really even ready. My hand just kind of moved itself with the seven of wands. So someone is ready to fight for the right. Fight for their fucking harvest. Fight for their blessings. Fight for their come up. It's their turn, I'm hearing. You're not taking this away from me, I'm hearing. All right, so let's now clarify. Let's go ahead and shuffle these once again. Thank you again for joining me today. Let's get one more good shuffle. All right. 
Clarifying the seven of water, please. Clarifying the seven of water. We have, all right, so what's holding you? So what is making things not clear for you is the fact that you don't have the freedom that you would like to have. You don't have the voice that you would like to have. There's something about your freedom or not feeling free. I'm hearing caged up. Someone's um, feeling like Spirit is asking you to be rational, to keep calm in this situation, okay? At this time, you might be feeling alone, okay? Your friends and family might be turning, or you might feel as though they're turning their back on you right now. Um, you're having some falling outs with friends. Um, you're not feeling successful. You're unable to move. You might be having, like, itchy eyes, something, something with the eyes. Um but you're definitely feeling a pull back. I don't know if it's from somebody or it's from the universe. Um, you could be bringing on that bad juju on yourself from guilt um, of your bad actions, but you this is the one channel where I'm not gonna kiss your ass, I'm sorry. It's called hard knocks for a fucking reason. And you know, regardless of that, I love you. I'm on your side. I'm never not on my people's side. I'm always on your side, okay? This is just tough love that I want you to learn. That's it. There's some people in your circle, in your energy field, that are holding on tight for you not to leave. Codependent relationships here. They don't want you to leave. They don't want you to have the freedom to be your own person without this little posse that you have, okay? You might feel like you're being um, punished by them. Or right now you might just feel like you're over your friends because you know that they're, that they're just they're not bringing any life. Maybe you're opening your eyes up to the fact that maybe you need to make some new friends. You know? Not that you're upset at your old friends. Not that you're mad or that you don't love them anymore. But that you just need to make some more friends that are going to help you grow and, you know, take you to the next level in your life. There's something coming up, though, Collective, that is going to need your your head on straight. It's going to need for you to act rationally, which means that there is a situation to where you may not act rationally, where, you know, where somebody may feel like they're being attacked or, um, you know, fight or flight energy here. Someone definitely does not want to see you succeed to your fullest potential. But collective, you are reaching for it. You're expecting it. So let's see what this Ace of Metal is all about. There's something new coming in from the hard work that you've been putting in. Oh, fuck. It's something about your health collective. Your energy is low. It has to do something with your bladder okay your bladder and your kidneys you are fighting this dark energy with the sun in reverse here collective you also got the ten of pentacles you are a strong person don't get me wrong But there is darkness around you. And when I say darkness, I mean darkness. I don't mean shadow. There's a huge difference.
there's a huge difference between someone who has a shadow self is working on their shadow who is um, doing um, doing the work, you know, trying to find those places and, and bring light to them. And then there's just a darkness. And with the sun in reverse, this darkness is stealing, is siphoning your energy, siphoning your health. And siphoning your blessings, your harvest that you're expecting. So something in regards to your health, whatever you're doing that is connecting with your kidneys or your bladder. Spirit wants you to eat better. I don't care if it's expensive. You need to try, okay, try to eat better. It doesn't take that much more to go buy a head of lettuce and some vegetables and throw yourself together a salad, you know, every now and again, <laughs> you know, or a nice smoothie every now and again. But this definitely has to do with health. Your guides are urging you to take action because there is, it's time to complete a fucking cycle of worrying at this time, nine of would in reverse you're worrying because you know that you're not doing what you should be doing which is taking care of your body once you start taking care of your body the doors of opportunity are going to open so much more but you have a lot of friends that are sucking you down Okay, maybe even physically, okay? You have some dark person with dark intentions sucking on your body parts. And guess what's gonna be stuck to your body parts? Okay, and that darkness, it's not just sexual health. It's your whole energy field. It's your body, it's your mind, it's your energy, okay? Energy is so important. Why do you think there's people that could smoke cigarettes and drink all their life and they're happy and they live a long, they live till they're fucking 90? It's because their energy, <laughs> that's it. It's because they're telling the universe that they're okay, that they're happy, that they're, and they mean it. They mean it. Now, if you could do that, hats off to you if you want to live in that, in that kind of a life. But from what I'm seeing here, I don't see that you can, number one. You're not capable of it because you're not spiritually strong enough to do that. I can tell you that right now. Um, energetically, I should say. Nothing has it. It is spirit, but it's more you're energetically not capable of that, which is why I'm seeing the cards that I'm seeing. Okay, that's number one. But number two is your friends your family, whoever it is that is accompanying you in these activities, the conversations that you have when you're indulging, it's low vibe. And these are spirits, okay? These are spirits. Anything that you put into your body, anything that changes um, the, the normal functioning of your body as a spirit, you're opening a portal to um, to spirits coming in and out. So there you go. And I'm talking to somebody who doesn't have their, their shit together, meaning they don't know what they want. They don't appreciate what they have. They don't know or, or, or have any clue where they want to go, what they desire. They don't know. And what they do know, what they're focusing on is they want to be successful they want to be successful they want to run away they want to be seen as successful but not want to do the work spirits putting their foot down once again with this world's card all these health uh alerts here there's a tower coming 
there's a tower coming. It might have something to do with your health. It might have something to do with your kidneys. Spirit wants to talk about solitude, wants to talk about your lungs. We also got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Smoking might be keeping you away from the love of your life. Right now, that was just a little side note. Right now, Spirit is asking you to go into hermit mode because you're going to need it. Because there's a tower coming, baby. There's a tower coming and you can't stop it. The tower comes when there is false or very flimsy foundation, okay? When your foundation's fucked. When the foundation's fucked, it's coming down. It's going down. It will eventually go down. And Spirit says it's time for this fucked up foundation to go down. Okay. And it's going to put you in hermit mode, which means solitude, which means taking you away from these things, taking you away from these people that don't want to see you succeed. <laughs> Am I going to tell you this? They might not even believe it themselves because it shows a weakness in them okay but that is what's happening they might not be aware of it but that is what is happening okay and on top of that there's a love there's a love here that's been taken away as well so you know you might not be feeling too hot right now my friend and i'm sorry about that but this is growing pains okay let's get more on this tower please so you might have been separated from a love that has been a tower so you might have had a breakup and now you're feeling very alone you're feeling very alone and you're feeling like i feel like you're you're starting to actually feel the toxicity of what's happening here and you have such great potential you've got heart collective you've got passion with the six of wands here this is triumphant this is being successful and this is what is kind of lingering at the bottom here it came out on its side spirit is just waiting just waiting for you to make these changes okay sitting you down out of love god is saying i love you let me take you to this place let me take you to the shadows and out of the darkness okay Yes, the four of earth on these in these cards represents greed. Greed is also the darkness for you collective. That is also a problem. Your greediness is making you feel like you have bad luck. Intent, my friend, intent, intent is everything. You cannot fake the funk. You cannot fake intention. All is seen. All actions are seen. All intentions, all thoughts are heard. Do you understand this? You have no secrets. Not with your guides. Not with God. You can't fool anybody. Okay? You have to actually do the work here. Okay? Poverty. Five of Pentacles. This is the tower. This is the threat. If you don't move your energy from the darkness to the shadow, then there's no healing. Because darkness is a choice. Dar darkness is a choice. It is a choice that you make. Um, and there's no getting out of it. There's no, oh, I'm going to try to heal from darkness. No. In order to heal from darkness, you need to go from darkness. You need to remove the intent from darkness. You need to move it to shadow. You can heal in shadow. You can heal in shadow. You have access to the light. Okay, but when you're in pure darkness, when you are complete absence of creator, if you're a complete denial of your God, and you are ignoring your intuition, and you are ignoring your guides, and you are giving a big fuck you to God, uh, you're going to end up in poverty. Okay? Why? Because God wants you, period. Want you to come into the light. Want you to be in hermit mode. Want you to not be able to, 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 to survive with, you know, these people 
whether they're intent, intending to or not, I feel like they are trying to hold you back, keep you down, take, take you away from love, keep you away from love, from growing, from moving forward, from moving maybe out of the neighborhood, out of the town, out of the state, out of the job, out of the school, out, whatever it is, however it is, whatever makes you feel like you are maturing, growing. Every, all organisms grow. God bless it. I'm hearing. I don't want to grow or you will not grow. There's, there's something that is attached to you collective that is just strangling all the growth out of you. And, and, and to some extent, you know, you're putting your fucking head right in that noose voluntarily. And I don't know if you're able to see it. I think maybe you are to a certain extent, but you are not ready to admit that. You are not ready to bring that up to the surface, even to yourself, okay? This is the tower. This is the threat. This is the word. There's something that you're comfortable with right now. Do not take it for granted, collective. Start making these changes. Start seeing things from what they are. Start seeing things rationally. Till then, you're not going to go anywhere. Because right now, you are just acting out of convenience and out of greed. generosity in the reverse let's move on to what is it the six of yeah the six of pentacles comes out in reverse greed same shit confirmation okay so let's move on to the seven of wands now it talks about fighting for Fighting for your health in general, collective. Your mental health, your spiritual health, your physical health, the health of your relationships, the health of your mind. Like, your health is in danger right now, okay? Whoever I'm speaking to. Two of Cups now is coming out for you. And the Lover's Card. Clarifying fight. Clarifying the seven. Of wands, so you want to fight for love. You want to fight for this love that you that you don't have. What is this over here? What did, I thought we already got the sun in reverse. I thought we already got a loved one. Oh yeah, we did. What is this? The ace of yeah, we got the ace of cups. So the new love, the new love, or the new start. Okay, so love is very important to you. There's something very toxic about the love that you're getting from your codependence. Because this is not a love that grows. And I mean, not the love itself for each other, but this is a love that stomps out growth. It stomps it out. You see a little daisy trying to grow. Have you ever seen that, that meme that, I don't know what it is. It's like some grass or a flower trying to grow out of this small break in the, in the street or the cement. And I just feel like the people that you're currently surrounding yourself with just you know come by they see you they're just gonna stop by and they're gonna see how much that you've grown coming out of that cement fighting for some air and they're just gonna pluck it they're just gonna pluck you and they're gonna set, set you in a vase and they're gonna put you right next to their bed they don't want you to grow. They want you for themselves. They want you to stay at this level so they can have access to you, whatever they want. They don't want you to be happy, collective. I know that's a hard pill to swallow, to know that maybe your friends and family don't want you to be the best that you could be. That's painful. And believe me, I come to that realization myself and it's not an easy one. And I recognize it. And
when you're able to see things like that, you step into another dimension. You step into a whole new awareness. You, you bust out of the matrix. You're able to see things clearly. And although it's painful, it's very liberating. Okay, and that was your first card, Collective. That was your first card. Or your second card, actually. But you're being asked to think rationally right now because you're very confused. Love is what the, makes the world go round. Love is all you need. Love is all you need. You're missing somebody right now. You're missing someone. You're missing being in a loving relationship where someone will listen to you, where it's easy, two peas in a pod, but you have a lot of growing to do collective. With these two love cards coming out, clarifying the eight of wands, fighting, fighting for love. I just get this feeling of desperation false pride and no direction you might be missing somebody in particular you might have made a decision that you wanted to have a better relationship with somebody that you're willing to fight for it or you might have let somebody go because you're fighting and you want to meet somebody new and you've made that decision you feel like this person doesn't listen to you and you're getting nowhere and so now you're looking for something new okay it could go either way let's get more on this please fight four of wands in reverse you're not happy about this breakup you're not, you're not celebrating at all. You might just be telling your friends to fuck off right now. Just, you know, not like that. God bless it. I need to communicate better. <laughs> My language. Um, you might be telling your friends, no, uh, you know, I don't want to do that. It doesn't sound like you might, you know, don't come over. I don't, I want to be by myself today. But you're not happy. Your home is, is not a happy place at this time. Thank God. Your last card, the seven of pentacles is achievement, is achievement. We are going to clarify that. You will achieve and you can achieve. Okay, collective. Let's give us a clue. We already know what you need to do, but let's get, oh, let's get a little bit more. Give us two more cards, please. Clarifying this achievement card, the seven of pentacles. Your blessings lay dormant, collective, fresh mistrust, and wealth in reverse. You definitely have jealousy issues. You definitely have abandonment issues trust issues if I didn't already say that clarify freshness please what is this one one moment okay I had to look up a word on here that I didn't know what spirit is saying is here is no matter 
if you wanted to continue working on a relationship or to start fresh, your issue is collective that you do not have the ability to make good decisions. There's something wrong with the way that you see things and the way that you think about them. It is keeping you in a stronghold that is not allowing you to resolve any issues. Um, you're in a very bad spot right now. So what a spirit is trying to say is you make very quick decisions that are bad. You make bad judgments on the fly because you're trying to not be sad. And that's what's fucking up your relationships, new or old. I have to say, though, that spirit is asking you to heal the past. But if you're looking for new, you have to stop making thoughtless, on the fly decisions to try to heal your boo boos. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to come to any resolution. You're going to stay exactly where you are if you keep trying to heal from, you know, having sexual or emotional relationships that are not intended for the long term or for the right reasons. You're enslaved to this behavior. You also might be having issues with your gallbladder. Better find the devil, please. Devil is keeping you in grief and keeping you away from your partnerships. <sighs> there is a big truck with fucking headlights pointed at me. It's only eight o'clock in the morning. They're staring right at me. So I'm gonna end it here. I love you collective. Please don't take any of this personally. This is tough love. There's no judgments. I've been through this. We all have, I'm sure. Most of us have. Okay. That's been your read. Until next time, namaste. Peace. Mm -hmm.